This is the brand new tombstone duplication glitch in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies that allows you to always have your tombstone set with OP items and max money for the start of every game that you play. With this brand new glitch you will never lose your tombstone even when going into the dark ether or the bad signal portal. Make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already because this new glitch will help out anyone who has set a tombstone before but keeps losing it. With this glitch you can also duplicate items to store them in your stash but that is not the main focus of this video. When doing this glitch you can have a fully stacked character and you won't lose your guns, large backpack, or armor satchels. For this glitch you are going to bring in any items that you want to always have in your game so choose items that will be very helpful like aether tools, crystals, golden armor, and anything else that you want in your inventory for every game that you're going to play. I highly recommend you bring an elder sigil to save in your tombstone because this will be very important later in the video to get camo unlocks, to max out all your guns, or even get bot lobbies and check out MitchCactus.com, they are 100% legit so use code GRAY for 5% off, the link is in the description. This glitch will work if you have an existing tombstone or not, so if you don't have one then you don't need to worry about this next step at this time. If you have an existing tombstone, all you have to do is take everything out of it so that it crumbles. The first step for this glitch is to grab the tombstone perk and you can do this before or after grabbing your existing tombstone. Then once you have your tombstone perk and everything inside your bag that you want to set in your tombstone, make sure you do not have self revive and you're going to down yourself. After that you're going to hold to bleed out and have a friend revive you. A huge shout out to Dreadstone for helping me with this video and allowing me to bring this insane glitch to you guys. Technically this can be done solo, you just need a random to revive you but it's much easier with a teammate. After they revive you, your tombstone has now been set. Now drop your money for the other person so that they can also have max money set in their tombstone. The amount of points that you have when you die is what will be set in the tombstone. Now that your teammate has also set their tombstone, you can play out your game completely normal if you would like. You can use all of the items in your inventory and you can spend points buying perks and anything else that you want. Just do not buy the tombstone perk again or it could ruin the whole process. Once you're done playing your game or you're ready to leave, you're going to go over to the dark ether. This is why I suggested you bring an elder sigil in your tombstone so that you have one in every single game. I've seen a lot of comments asking how to keep your tombstone when going into the dark ether so this is for you. When you load in you can play normally but for the sake of the video and duplicating our tombstone quickly I'm just going to run straight over to the exfil portal underground and you can follow my path. Once at the portal all you have to do is activate it and you will be shown the successful exfil screen and now you are done. You have now set your tombstone on the map without having to quit the game. So now there is no longer any timing requirements for this glitch at all. After you leave the match you're going to go back into your inventory and three things can happen. The first is all the items you did not use while in the game will show in your inventory and you can use the items from the purchase or the rewards tab to swap items out. Just press swap on an item you want to force into your stash and swap it with a reward and then you can unequip that reward and it'll force the items back into your stash. The second is that only a few items will actually be brought back as you can see here. The third thing that can happen is you won't bring any items back. This works the same when you are trying to exfil with a set tombstone. Since your stash has already so many items in it you can't actually bring anything out of the game. However if you have schematics in your tombstone or were dropped them then doing this method will actually unlock them in your craftables and you will now be able to use those schematics they just won't show up when you get back to the lobby as well. You can get very lucky and sometimes it will bring out your whole inventory but for the most part it will not bring items out and that is okay. The purpose for this glitch is for you to set your tombstones with everything that you would ever need when playing and be able to go into the dark ether or bad signal without losing your glitch tombstone so it's perfect to pair this glitch with the other tombstone glitch. When you load into your next game the tombstone will be exactly where you set yours up and this can be done anywhere on the map. If at any point when you are doing this and after you have activated the portal your game freezes on any of these screens that I'm showing you here then you can simply dashboard your game or press the start button and leave the match your tombstone will still be where you left it. I quickly want to mention after you crumble your tombstone and have set your new one at any point if you die you can just dashboard and you will keep your tombstone. This will only work after you crumble it and set it so if you die before you bleed out you're just going to force quit your game and the tombstone will stay you will just lose all your gear on your character. This also works for the bad signal mission as well so first go back over to your tombstone then crumble your tombstone then you're going to buy the tombstone perk and set up your tombstone with everything in your inventory. Die with all the items that you want to save in your next tombstone and you're going to hold to bleed out and then have someone revive you. Then you can go into the bad signal mission and complete it. When you are done you will exfil and get the cutscene. In your next game the tombstone will be exactly where you left it. Every single time you go to do this you are going to do the steps of setting your tombstone. Then after you have finished playing your whole game you can enter the dark ether and exfil inside there and your tombstone will appear in your next game. You will never have to worry about losing your tombstone ever again and you will always have your OP items at the start of every game. If you want to see how to duplicate unlimited money or how to duplicate items to fill your stash up to 220 then and click on the videos on your screen right now. Please help support the channel by leaving a like on the video, checking out the member
members link in the description and subscribing for more of the best full detailed guides. I'll see you guys next time.